Okay, here I want to show you a button repair kit that I've made for individual buttons. I've got a couple sizes here to show you, and I've made some others. This is a 5mm, and this is a 7mm button, uh, the size of the black disc in the middle. Um, now, this is used to fix rubber buttons in uh, TV remotes, telephones, uh, lots of different things. Um, I've got here, you know, one of the, the symbol scanners the grocery store. Um, it's already taken apart, make it easy. Um, if any of the buttons go bad, you can use this. Now, the cause of the bad buttons is usually the rubber keypad. The, the pills uh, wear out, they uh, break down, uh, oils leak out and dirt builds up on the circuit board. Now what these do is these replace the conductive material so you no longer need the black dots on the rubber keypad. You still use the rubber keypad but these thin dots go right over the button that you want to fix and now this is what makes the contact and it's sandwiched right in between your old rubber keypad. You can't even tell it's in there once it's reassembled. Um, I've made a whole bunch of these. I've used them for years. I spent a ton of time looking for the right materials. This is a high conductive black carbon material. Uh, the polycarbonate um, and polyester materials. Uh, I got 3M adhesive. Um, it took a long time to figure out everything where the, the plastic doesn't wrinkle or warp or short out the buttons. Um, the black stuff doesn't wear off. I've gone at these with sandpaper and you cannot damage the black discs, unlike the rubber keypads um, or other kinds of contacts. There are some snap dome keypads out there with conductive paint, and that can scrape off really easy. Um, so, basically I just want to show you some different things to look out for. Um, you know, if you're replacing or repairing some buttons, it's probably going to be dirty. This one's nice and clean but it's probably going to be dirty and you want to use uh, some good rubbing alcohol. Probably 91% is the best. 70 is okay. I always use 90. I have a little dispensing bottle. You could get a old toothbrush, rag, Q-tips. Just make sure it's nice and clean. If it's not clean, the, the it might not stick. The, the adhesive might not stick, but mostly you're going to be leaving the dirt in there and that's the whole point is to... you don't want dirt between your new button and the circuit board. So basically you can just peel it off and say you wanted to fix this button there you just line up the black dot over the button contact. Things to be aware of. Notice um, you wouldn't want to cover over another button, a, an adjacent button with the plastic otherwise it would stop working. If you want to fix two buttons that are close together, that'll overlap, and that's not good. However, you can trim these down. You don't want to trim all the way, but you can get really close, especially on one edge, like that. Now I could put down, if I was doing a row of buttons, I could do the top and the bottom, like that, and I could just keep going. I do design uh, keypad specific, so if you did have a lot of the same thing, you should contact me. I can make a, a single sheet that'll fix all this if you needed me to. Um, you just have to be a, you know, you'd have to have a minimum quantity. It would depend on what it is. I make a lot of these for cordless phones. Um, I'm going to show you some other situations to be aware of. We've got this snap dome. This instead of a rubber keypad, there's a rubber keypad in this phone but the rubber keypad pushes down on a snap dome. The snap dome makes the contact with that. And that's to give you a tactile feedback when you push the phone button, it kind of snaps. The, the dome snaps down and snaps back and you kind of feel the contact. So you don't want to get rid of this. You, you could just put these in here and then totally, if you, if you replaced every button, you could throw this out and it would work, but it wouldn't feel the same. And if you're picky, you might not like it, but um, most people, I think, wouldn't even notice the 
repair membrane can go right on the circuit board, right under this. And I've got one here, a big circle for four buttons. That's very, these break a lot. And then occasionally one of these might wear out the, the paint scrapes off of these. And once you put the phone together, you can't even tell that that's there. It feels exactly the same as the adjacent buttons. Um, this one is using the small five millimeter button. And it's not so much like the five millimeter button here isn't as big. Those discs, the contact points are, are a little bit bigger. But then you look at this and those dots are tiny. So the five millimeter dots are way bigger. So you have some room, oh, some wiggle room in either direction, really. Um, this one is just great for five millimeter dots because if you wanted to do multiple, there'd be no trimming needed. The seven millimeter would be, you know, overkill. It would still work. You'd probably have to trim, you know, the adhesive around the edges a little bit. Um, now, I want to show you a couple situations to be concerned about. Here's another cordless phone. I've got a couple buttons in here. These black tracings um, are exposed and they conduct electricity. So when you put this button on there, it's kind of, on this one, it's kind of hard to tell where the buttons are. They're, they're square contacts for, for a round button. Um, you know, you can get it right there. That's the big one. But what you wouldn't want to do is, say, have a big one here and have it short out um, between tracings that aren't supposed to touch each other. Like here we've got a button right here. Let's see if I can get this in you. There's a button here and a button here. But you wouldn't want the black disc to be so big that it would cross over and hit here and here because these aren't supposed to touch really. And who knows what it's going to do. Now this is even more trickier here. We've got this phone here, this keypad. Let's see if I can get back into focus. Yeah. See all these little dots or solder tabs that go through the board. Now you want your button to hit here, but you don't want the black pill, the new black conductive layer, to be able to touch any of these little dots. Now it's not too big of a deal because these are pretty big circles. Here's the larger seven millimeter button, but you just wouldn't want to have it off too far where it's going to actually touch one of those. Um, and I can't uh, tell you know warn you of every situation. Every circuit board is going to be different. Um, TV remotes, keypads for credit card machines, printers, whatever you're dealing with, you need to be aware. And look out for that stuff. Um, we have all sorts of different contacts. Here's another phone. Very well spaced out. But what I wanted to show you on this one. This one's a little tricky. I just got a little interesting button down here. There's two pads with an LED in the middle of it. Now those button contacts are tiny. Here's the small 5 millimeter button. And they are really small, so you're really going to have to come up with something else. I can make a keypad repair for this, but a universal button, that's going to be a tough sell. The rubber pad has two contacts, but it's really just one button. And the light shines through and lights up that button. That feature, I've seen that occasionally on different devices. Um, but... Yeah, I've made a machine uh, several times over the last decade that just keeps pressing a button. So I've put together this in a phone and I've put these in there and I've had that machine pound on that button for days, 24 hours a day, like two or three times a second. Um, and I had a counter hooked up to it and I never had one break. We've been fixing phones for 20 years. Um, I haven't had these for that long, but I've had similar uh, devices I've used, and I've uh, gotten phones back, you know, seven years later for a completely different problem. You know, these business telephones that were heavily used, 
and uh, the button repair that I did was still working great. Um, and if you need any special keypads made or special sizes, let me know, and I'll, I'll get you a quote. Thanks.